Um, in, a few, in a few minutes, you're going to hear a little more about code from uh, the CEO of Activision Blizzard, Bobby Kotick, who's really the founder. But before that, we have a short video presentation. And as they say in some places, roll the tape. Every day, our men and women in the military make tremendous sacrifices to protect us and the freedoms we enjoy. After battling so bravely overseas, many return home only to face another kind of battle, trying to reassimilate and find jobs in one of the worst economies since the Great Depression. They face unemployment, bankruptcy, and in some cases, homelessness. America's heroes deserve better. And that's why we've created the Call of Duty Endowment. By committing to donate and raise millions of dollars for job placement and training programs, and by supporting organizations that help our veterans find work, we're going to fight to ensure they receive the opportunities they deserve. It's our goal that all returning veterans, disabled or not, can obtain 21st century jobs. But to accomplish this goal, we're going to need your help. Now this is truly a great event, and it's a great day for us, as we believe this endowment will have a real impact in combating the issue of unemployment that so many of our proud veterans are facing. Um, with that, I would like to um, share this plaque with Lewis and Homer. And um, this, uh, this is the kickoff of the uh, Vocational Rehabilitation Office in Boston. And we'll now have $375,000 to get that started. And I'm very grateful for all that you've done. Very grateful to partner with you on the center in Boston. So, Homer and Lewis. Yeah, we, we, really, uh, we really thank Activision and Blizzard for stepping up and helping us. Uh, they've gone above and beyond. This is, this is the most uh, any corporation has helped us. I would just tell you, America does have a call uh, to duty here, a call of duty to, uh, to offer a future, and by that I mean really a career, not just a job, to our, our soldiers and veterans. Um, it makes a huge difference for that soldier in a warrior transition unit. When that soldier sees their future out there, everything changes about their recovery. I think that's the thing that's the most important to me, is recognizing that the people who are coming home, the people who serve their country the way that you have, have great skills and great capabilities, and that the jobs that we have available are very well matched to the skills that you develop in your military service. Please help ensure that the men and women who fight for our freedom come home to careers. The Call of Duty Endowment.